Good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Clo Brother, the Clo the Humble Sports Board, coming to you live in Leesburg, Virginia, Lowndes County area, in Exeter, that is. Today, I'll be talking about Boogie Cousins' ACL injury, his left knee. I'll get you guys into that for sure, and and whether or not he's going to miss a se whether or not he's going to be available for the upcoming season or not. Season starts October 22nd. I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you, and how how Lakers how it's going to affect the Lakers' chances of getting a playoff spot, finally getting a playoff spot for sure. I'll talk to you guys about Dale Earnhardt's fiery plane crash in Tennessee. I'll talk to you guys about Conor McGregor punching an old man at a Marble Arch pub in uh, Dublin, Ireland. I'll get you guys to that. Nate Diaz smoking a CBD joint during the um, weigh-in. I'm sorry, not during the weigh-in. During the um, open workout for UFC 241. You catch him on the U catch him tomorrow tomorrow night on U ESPN Plus. A six on Anthony Pettis. I'll tell you about that for sure. And also SmackDown's 20th anniversary, and SmackDown will be moving to. Um, FS1 on October 4th, that is. so I'll tell you about that for sure. But I want to start things off with the um, ACL injury that Bud Cousins have. So Bud Cousins was that was playing a Vegas a, a pickup basketball game in Vegas, and he tore his ACL's left knee. So I can tell you though that he meant to get surgery, and it could be less than 100 percent. So I will say this though that um, this could affect the Lakers' chances of finally getting a playoff spot, and obviously that's like a sit to because they're gonna need Boogie Cousins for sure. I mean Boogie Cousins just signed an offer with the Lakers, by the way. I mean he he's had injuries, quad, bicep, when, when at the finals, but that's got a torn ACL, ACL's left knee injury, so it's very possible that he could be coming back or not. It is possible that he may be needing surgery. And I can tell you, though, that um, I won't I will, I will wish Boone Cousins a speedy recovery as he recovers from this ACL injury in his left knee. And hopefully, I just hope that um, he, he makes it for the upcoming season for October, by October 22nd. So hopefully, you know, he'll be, he'll be ready. And I just hope for once that he's um, ready, he's, he's fit. Stays stays healthy and 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 you know stays healthy for once, and it's a good hand. So hopefully, he'll be back sooner rather than later. So hopefully, it's in good condition by then, just before the NBA season starts October twenty second. That is, so I'll tell you about. It. So we'll I'll see that we'll, we'll so I'll see how that all plays out. Another thing I, I do want to get down to is the uh, fire plane crash that Dale Earnhardt Jr. was in. So many of you guys know that yesterday, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Was in a uh, fiery was in a fiery plane crash, and he was in there with his wife, his kid, his kiddos, little girl and fifteen year old daughter. Three passengers and two pilots. They crash landed in uh, Michigan, Tennessee, and they escaped. They they escaped safely. Dillard Jr. had cuts and abrasions, and he had to be sent to a nearby hot sent to a nearby hospital in Tennessee. And I also been told that he has been released from the hospital. I want to wish him a speedy recovery. I want some of my thoughts and prayers and condolences out to um, Dale Earnhardt Jr. His family members, to him, his family members, all of his NASCAR fans out there. He's a, he's also a NASCAR analyst, by the way, and he's scheduled to appear for um, Bristol. He's supposed to appear for the NASCAR Cup Series in Bristol, Tennessee. That is, so hopefully, he makes it there. He's a NASCAR analyst, by the way, so I'm not sure what his condition is. I know, I know he's, I know he's, he'll make it though for sure, and you know, he won't disappoint. So hopefully, for once, he just comes back safely and you know, gets ready for that. I'm not sure what's gonna, I'm not sure if he's gonna be there or not. So hopefully, that remains to be seen. So that's all I got. So I wish, wish Dale Hart Jr. speedy recovery. I'm glad he's safe. He's, he's still alive and he's doing well. So get as much, get as much rest you need, Dale Hart Jr. Because he'll be needing it for tomorrow. So, so hopefully. You stay safe. Now, another thing I do want to get down to is more turmoil for Conor McGregor. For those of you that saw the, uh, the footage from yesterday, Conor McGregor got to an incident back on April 6th. And you can see that Conor McGregor was entering a Marble Arch pub in Dublin, Ireland. And he does, he, 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 does, he um, puts out cups from his, 
for his popping up a tub of Irish whiskey, and one el one elderly individual put the cup to the side, like he wasn't he wasn't in the mood, and basically was just was having some comic book tried again, and obviously that didn't work. That sort of backfired yet again, and and the dude moves it once again, and what happens after that? Common Gregor punches the old man with a wicked with his left hand. Wicked left. So cops are still Irish police are still investigating the matter and there could be a potential yet another potential arrest warrant for sure. So I mean he's got he's gotta get together. I mean that, that's that's his uncalled for. It really is. I mean look what's happened to him throughout his career. He throws a he throws a dolly Injuring a bunch of UFC fighters, he gets suspended for his mass for for role in that massive brawl when he after losing to Khabib, he destroys a person a fan's cell phone. That is, he's he was even accused of sexual assault. There's no even though it's been looming for um quite a while, and he wasn't convicted of that. He was also now they got footage of Conor McGregor punching an old man over whiskey shots. Now guys, I can tell you this. I mean, come on. Conor McGregor's a high profile athlete. He really is. He's a former UFC champion. He's, he's already retired. And apparently, in this kind of particular matter, it's just safe to say that Conor McGregor may not, may not be coming back at all to the UFC. I mean, he's been training for a comeback, but obviously the footage of him punching an old man with his left, using left hand that is, with his wicked, wicked left, he's gonna be facing some repercussions. And I can tell you this: when is Conor McGregor ever gonna learn? When is he gonna learn? I mean, look, there, yeah, look, there. Okay, so there are plenty of guys that get into the bar fights all the time, but come on, Conor McGregor, him of all people, are you kidding me? He may not come back to the UFC if he did. If he did to Khabib. He, man, that'd be pretty interesting right there. Or anyone else? I mean, come on, to, to an elderly individual? Come on, that that's that's disrespectful. That, that's uncomfortable. So hopefully, Conor McGregor gets what's coming to him, and he may not be coming back for UFC, for to the UFC at all. So who knows what's for Joel to him? He's already retired though. But I just hope he learns his lesson, tries to get himself together, because he he really needs it. I'm sorry, guys. Now, another thing I want to get down to, by the way, is also the fact that um, Nate Diaz was. Smoking a CBD joint during the UFC 241 open workouts, and I don't know if fans reacted to that. I mean, he could be fine for it, perhaps. And, and fans, I mean, they really condone that. I mean, you're gonna see Nate Diaz come back after a long layoff. So he takes on Anthony Pettis. You can catch that live on the ESPN Plus app, by the way. So hopefully. Nate Diaz just gets it together and, you know, puts it being on Anthony Pettis, so hopefully he'll come back. So, maybe not a comeback for Conor McGregor, you know, he got he punched an old man. But Nate Diaz, he made his comeback. You'll see him tomorrow night on the ESPN Plus app. you also see the rematch between DC Daniel Cormier. He takes on Stipe Miocic for the UFC heavyweight title, that is. So, that'll be a good one. So, please put your votes in right now, ladies and gentlemen, for that. Put your votes in the comment section if you think that Nate Diaz is going to get a comeback win. And also put your votes in if you think that DC Daniel Cormier or Stein Mitch is going to get a win tomorrow night on ESPN Plus app, which is on the main card. Catch the prelims on ESPN, main card on the ESPN Plus app, or also on pay-per-view, by the way. Check your local listings, by the way. So that's pretty good. So don't miss out on that. Don't miss out on the opportunity, guys. Another thing I want to get down to, the fact that um, SmackDown will be celebrating the 20th anniversary with SmackDown moves to FS1, that is Friday, October 4th, and it will be at Staples Center, that is, so that's, that'll be really good, it's must see much, but you'll see superstars, legends, past, present, and future, it'll be interesting, it's must see, must watch, Smackdown will be moving back to Friday nights, and it's also going to be moving to FS1, starting Friday, October 4th, you do not want some of the opportunity, guys, so... It'll be real amazing. Hope you guys that. Hope you guys check that out. So, it'll be a really amazing, incredible scene. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. And that'll be interesting right there. You'll see Charlotte Flair. You'll see Kofi Kingston 
whose birthday was yesterday, whose birthday was this past week. You'll see guys like The New Day, you'll see guys like Sting and Nature Flair and many more out there. So, it's really good. Don't miss on that though, guys. It's pretty good and check it out for yourselves, guys. It's honestly, don't miss out though, guys. It's your opportunity. Your opportunity right there. So that's I was looking for that, by the way. So that's interesting. Now, well, again, that's it, ladies and gents, for the clothes. That's good. Well, I think that I guess it's gonna do right there, ladies and gents, for the clothes. I will sports board. Please be sure you always like subscribe to the clothes. I will sports board YouTube channel, Facebook page, by any means necessary. Be sure to send me a comment, switch directions, your thoughts, and tell me what you think. What repercussions that Conor McGregor is gonna face, despite the fact that he's in more turmoil, punching an old man at the Marble Arch Pub. And Dublin Island, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you think he'll come back or not. If he's gonna get arrested yet again, be sure to send me that in the comment section. I will respond address to your questions and your comments down below. Tell me what you also think of Nate Diaz smoking a CBD joint during a UFC 241 open workout. Let me know in the comment section. I will respond address to that as well. Let me know what you also think of um, SmackDown's 20th anniversary moving to FS1. Fox Sports, that is, Friday, October 4th, that is. It'll be live at Staples Center in L.A. Check that out. Let me know in the comments section. So tell me how you feel about it. And react to your thoughts on that as well. Also, ladies and gents, tell me what you also think. Wish, wish, um, Blake Cousins speed recovery as he had a torn ACL when he, when he had a, uh, had a pickup game in, ba bas pick up basketball game in Vegas. Send your well wishes in your comment. Send your well wishes to Blake Cousins as he's going to be recovering from the, um, ACL injury his left knee, that is. Please do so in the comment section down below. By any means necessary. Tell me, let me know what your thoughts are about it, and I will, I will address and respond. Let me know what you also think of um, where because the comic is gonna face. I'll respond and address that as well. As he punched an old man, so let me know about that. But I'll be back more breaking news, Shake Talks, Developing Swim Lines, live updates, Developing Swim Lines, and a whole lot more. On the Clothes Apple Sports Board, that all things sports related, sports analysis, sports highlights, and massive news and live updates. And that's all you guys can open. That's all there is to it. So take care, everybody. You, you guys have a good day. Bye bye.